This is the MLB on TBS, the exclusive home of the 2009 Division Series and the National League Championship. Ascend out of the bottomless pit, and they that dwell on earth shall wonder when they behold the beast that was, and is not, yet is. heard in this world, but only a few listen. Now, finally, everyone will hear me. I will blanket the earth with a truth that is hot from hell. The world will await the sound of my voice to know whether the sun will rise or the rivers flow. I was here before, when these walls stood tall. And this soil was turned red with spilled blood. <laughs> oh, the flowers that bloomed. Nourished by the blood of your enemies. I was here when the Egyptians turned back the Canaanites. A thousand years before the Nazarene came into this world. But nothing. Nothing compares to the battle that is coming. And he gathered them together in a place called... Controls Jerusalem at the end of days. Shall rule the world. Precisely. I guarantee it. Nobody will vote for a Catholic. Dick Nixon will not be president. Really? Mm, not this time, for sure. And why not? He doesn't look good on television. Well, the man's running for president, not auditioning for gun smoke. General, I'll tell you now. The world is on television. And that's where people will form their opinions. People like me will shape those opinions. I have more than a hundred television and radio stations, magazines, newspapers. If you read, watch television, listen to the radio, you're gonna hear what I have to say. Happy to say? Well, I expected nothing less. And what about you, Stone? I'm afraid he still misses his mother. 
So do I. But it's been three months. It's time to get over it. Young man, tomorrow you will stop grieving for your mother and get on with your life. Is that clear? Yes, Father. All right, then. Good night. Good night, sir. I know. I miss her, too. The good Lord took your mother, but he gave you a new baby brother. Would you like some hot chocolate, dear? We could sit by the fire and talk a bit. All right? I'll be right back. Trust your standards haven't changed since I was a cadet. I assure you, Senor Alexander, you're still producing men like yourself. Men who lead the way for others. You'll do very well here. Work hard. Obey the rules. Now, my son requires a firm hand. Don't coddle him, understand? I want him hard and tough ready for the world. Learn to make friends. That's important. If your son has what it takes to be a great leader, I know how to bring it out of him. I'll come and see you, if I can. Driver.
Master. We have waited so long. Bless me, so that I may serve you in this our quest. Give me strength to spread your message over the earth. Ago, generals formed their men in straight lines and sent them out to attack fixed positions with weapons like these. <laughs> this seemed effective when combat took place face to face. Courage, strength, and skill decided the outcome of the battle. But with the invention of firearms, particularly the machine gun, these same tactics resulted in the slaughter of thousands of brave men. What does this mean? As military leaders, you will be responsible for the lives of your men. You must match your tactics to the prevailing technology. Thank you, Cadet Alexander. She's back. Luncheon is better. Gabriella, senti, ma che bella ragazza. <laughs> allora, ok, andiamo a mangiare. Ma perché no? No. Sì, ecco. of soldiers, those who live and those who die. They are coming. Set up the perimeters. To live, you must learn to kill. Killers win wars. Cadet Monticelli, you and your squad have been chosen to defend Hill 31 against the attackers led by Cadet Alexander. The victors will graduate with special honors. <laughs> This is not just an exercise. This is the first step into your future.
bastardo! I take no prisoners. Fool. Well, Gabriella doesn't think I'm a fool. <laughs>